I come to Armenia, they ask me how many operations I do, and that's really not the intent here. Our principal effort here is to educate. Ultimate goal is to allow the Armenians to take care of themselves. We've brought 10 people over for fellowships to America, uh, all expenses paid. When I first came in America, everything was completely different. I felt that I really had very little knowledge of what's going on in the world. I watched him doing the surgeries and now I am practicing those that are doing it in Armenia. Those who have come to the U.S. become the heads of departments here and they can teach their trainees to duplicate themselves. And even if the project stopped tomorrow, that would be a permanent benefit for the country. That's what we call sustainability. It continues on. When I came back here, um, I wanted to uh, share all my skills with my colleagues. I got in, in, in big energy. I had so much energy to share all this, impatient to give all these lectures. And I started to teach them everything I knew. We start, the first thing we did was a huge conference. And we began just in one month after my coming back to do the uh, services, lasering. I'm in a car when I was there in 1986, whenever they had a difficult patient, difficult eye problem, they would send that patient to Moscow. Would you believe now that they're coming from Moscow to Yerevan to get their eye care? We're doing surgery for patients from Syria, from Iran. And what's nice is, when these patients come from other countries to Armenia, they pay full price. So that it's become now a wave that they can be self-sustaining.